Hello guys, it's Jake with Our Value Homes. Looking today at spray foam insulation and air barriers. So here we have a wood framed home with uh, open cell spray foam insulation. One of the selling points of that is that it blocks the flow of air, um, which is, it's pretty good at, but is it good enough? That is the question. So the project manager and I have just spent the last well, hour and a half going through and touch up spots like this, where the insulation pulls back and fill those, as you can see here. And what that does is it highlights the fact that spray foam insulation is not perfect. At least open cell does tend to pull away. And it's also a little harder to get it uh, perfectly filled than closed cell. Closed cell, of course, is more costly. Check out that hole. So if that is your primary means of keeping out air or bugs, dust, and dirt, you're probably going to be pretty disappointed. Of course, the best answer is to not depend on the spray foam for your continuous insulation. So here you see Thermal Tight, which is a two inch exterior insulation with a weather resistant barrier, air barrier, right on it, and it's sealed at the bottom of our wall. A little more complicated detail, but it's sealed across the top into the ceiling as well. And that is how we keep out air, and that is how we keep out bugs and dust.